no, everybody. It's your girl. Say it ain't Porsche. It is that one ugly nigga that stay crispy. Is he fake? Oh my god! And we have a guest today. What up? What up? He goes by the name of Big Play Clay. Big Play Clay. Clay Hova. Yeah, what, yeah. What's your other? Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I got many names. Many oh, names. Goodness. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we're gonna start off on. A very sad note, unfortunately. We just heard some news today. Well, I heard it today. When did you guys hear? This morning. Yeah, yeah this morning. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, the rapper Fredo Santana, he's no longer with us. All right. Yeah, rest in peace, Fredo. Yes. Um, he may have suffered from kidney failure, which was, he had a seizure apparently in his LA home. And I guess that was that was his time. Um, it's it's okay. very unfortunate. What, what you gotta say? Oh, that's just so crazy. When that nigga Lil Peep died, this nigga Fredo was like, "Yeah, niggas need to get off the drugs." That's what clean, really hurt my feelings. And, shit. and that nigga said he was trying to get clean. Yeah, yeah. that shit crazy. That's exactly what really hurt my feelings because I do remember that, and I know he was kind of Lil Peep was kind of inspiring a lot of rappers to be like, "Okay, enough." Right. You know, and he was one of those. And yeah, like when he went to the hospital the first time, he posted on Instagram, been in here since Friday. Doctors say a nigga had kidney failure and liver failure. That's like, well, I'm like that's two deep. of the main things you need. You Man. know what I'm saying? So once that started to go, it's just a matter of time. Man, he said, hopefully I could be the face to show niggas to slow down. And we got our whole life ahead of us. Fuck being rock stars, getting high. I got P- PTSD. Um, that's kind of a big deal, too. So that's some crazy ass shit. This nigga had PTSD just yeah. from growing up in Chicago. Yeah, that's a lot. Crazy yeah. Shit. But that's a story where a lot of just black kids in general. Like, that's mm-hmm. why so many people, like, self, like, medicate and smoke and drink lean and shit like that. A lot of people don't understand that. Like, that's the problem. Mm-hmm. They just trying to self medicate themselves. Yeah. And the, the Zannies and I know people, you know, pop up and yeah. stuff. Like, yeah. No, like, chill, chill, please. Don't let, don't let us have to learn this lesson again. We've all, already learned it so many times. All right. Like, we've seen this happen over and over again. Like, this doesn't help. You see, Gucci, he stopped. He's like one of the only ones that got. Yes. Crazy. And it's so sad. Like, I feel like this shit never gonna stop. Like, after Pimp C died, everybody said the same thing. We gotta stop. We gotta stop. Then somebody else died. We gotta stop. We're just gonna keep going, yes. man. Like. It's just some shit you never gonna get rid of, but yeah. you know Gucci man did make it. You know, he made it. <laughs> I mean, that's my uncle in my, in my heart. That's my uncle. <laughs> that's in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> like in my uncle heart, is him yeah. and Two Chains. Like those are my uncles. Like, <laughs> but yeah, it's, this is really sad. Like, and he said that he was just doing that to face his demons, mm-hmm. and he said he might go to rehab. Like he was trying. He has an eight month old baby. Yep. Crazy. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Damn. That's so sad. Like a baby. Right. So, unfortunately, that's the news that we got this morning. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, on a different note, what you what? A lighter note, you know. Yeah. What we talk about? What's, what's, the, <laughs> what's the lighter note? I thought you was about to say something important. No, I was. I was just. I thought we was about to transition, so I'm like, uh, yeah. Yeah. You feel me? Okay. Pointing right. at you. Okay. It's me. It's my turn. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> Missy Elliott in this me bitch too. You feel me? <laughs> we going crazy. So no, what we about to talk about? We about to talk about Drake. Who? Drake. Yeah, we shit. We can. That's what I'm about. Yeah, yeah, this nigga Drake. This nigga, the, <laughs> the light skinned king. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This nigga didn't drop. There you go. He, this nigga didn't drop two tracks on niggas out of nowhere. Cause out of, of nowhere, Drake. cause that's what he does. This nigga think he Beyonce. You, you know think he is, man? I mean, he's Drake. Like, he's Drake. He's not Beyonce. This is the woman's ambassador for light skinned niggas. So, no, it's vanilla way for niggas. God and shit. That's him. <laughs> 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 
fuck with Drake though. He was he was talking that shit when he want to rap. Yes, he was rapping. On both sides. That's what I'm saying. He sounded like Drake. Yeah, 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 he sounded yeah, yeah. like Drake. He hit y'all niggas with the this don't be in the club shit, and I'm gonna hit y'all with yeah. the this me and Forty. I'm about to yeah. rap on this he bitch. Crazy. I'm like, okay, 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 <laughs> Drizzy, I'm crazy. Crazy. Nigga say he don't let his mom in his bed. And he was talking truth. That's I love my mom in my bed. I'm like, word. <laughs> I feel that on a spiritual level, my nigga. Damn. In my heart, I feel that. Oh, yeah. Like what? Yes, I. And then he, um, he said, "What did he say?" He said, "In 2017, I lost a J Lo." Yeah, he lost. He lost his J Lo. Big flex. Big flex yeah. on this. What? He's flexing. That is such a. And it's like so subtle. He like, said it's so cool. Like, like yeah, yeah, I lost J Lo. Fuck it, ain't shit. Yeah. Oh, right. you, you know, cause you know, I heard. Now I don't know. I don't know if this is the truth, but I heard that Drake um sent. Two diamond necklaces to, well, he sent one to Rihanna, sent one to J Lo, and when Rihanna found out that he sent one to J Lo, she was like, "Fuck your jewelry, I don't want your jewelry, nigga," and then what? dumped him. And I guess J Lo so eventually. So was he dating Rihanna? Or you, you know Rihanna. Rihanna I know they no, be doing their thing. They doing their thing. Okay. They was doing their little. I mean, he had thing. to play. He a had just diamond. Ne- Casual diamond. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm Drake. I'm Drake. It's nothing. All right, you feel me? Shit. Yeah, they Drake a wild boy, man. It's a wild man. Oh, screenshot. Well, you was talking last time how niggas was trying to say that that kid. Don't take that cup over. Don't drop that thumper. Don't drop that thumper. We was talking about last week how niggas were saying that the King's Dead shit, they was coming at Big Sean. Mm-hmm. This nigga Drake was definitely coming at Joe Budden. Oh, yeah, most definitely. On the fucking shit. Yeah. Drake? Definitely. I screenshot the lyrics. This nigga said, shit is complex like short niggas around tall ladies. I got to watch who I'm talking to like it's all ages. I see Budden careers turn to sit around and talk about other careers, judging their peers, knowledge from niggas who did not contribute to none of this here. Woo! Yeah, he was talking I crazy. No, and he was doing a lot of that, like, a word lot. flipping and <laughs> shit. Like, and it was like, what the hell? What are you? How are you hearing that? It's like, what is, I, it's like, you really have to listen to that shit yeah. to... Drake. Man. Drake, Drake is back. N- nigga, niggas get mad at Drake and be like, man, Drake, you on some bullshit. Then he be like, am I? Oh, yeah. Am I, right. <laughs> am I on some bullshit? Because he, he still be writing shit for other people. Because he wrote that Live Up To My Name shit. Did he? Yeah. Oh, Bacchanal Night. That's yes. my man. That's a, yeah, I fuck with that he song. He's talking crazy on that. That's my shit. I fuck with that. <laughs> and that's Drake. Because I heard the reference track. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was on. It was on Twitter. Really? Watch the video. Watch the video. Oh shit! Yeah, but I miss Drake because he he was on some trash, and I just Wait, did so, not like cause, that. Cause that views like you know what I'm saying. Views man. was okay. Like I don't go back and listen to views like that. Like I listen to some views, but like when that shit come across my playlist, I just be like, all right. All right. I, I, mean, I go listen. You said you don't listen to views. Not that much, no. Not I don't much. listen to views. The shit where he's sitting on the little yeah, yeah. the Toronto oh, shit. Okay, I don't listen to the shit he put after that. The little play take shit. Care, not take care. What the uh, fuck am I talking about? Okay, more right? life. More, more life. life. Oh, more life. I, 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 I have. Mm. I fuck with more life. Mm. More life. Man. He was trying to do that UK shit on UK. No, no. I'm like, man's no. not hot. Yeah, man's not hot at all. For that bullshit. <laughs> It was, no. it was like it was niggas be when Drake dropped an album, niggas be expecting Drake. Yeah, shit. he put out. He said was it was weird. a playlist. It, it was, was all over. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. different vibes. Throughout that bitch, I'm, I'm not saying that that, that shit didn't have its gems. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it has I'm not really. Songs. I'm, I'm not like I'm about to listen to some music, and I'm like I'm about to go listen to some shit off more like. Right. Yeah, I will right, say, right, right. um, what's that shit? I was stealing from a bit back when I was twenty one. Oh, oh yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Real? Hey, no, no, we, listen. Shit. Hey, South by Southwest 20, what was that, 16? That was, that was last year. Uh, South by Southwest 2017. 2017. That, uh, yeah, that shit 20. was the theme song. That, cause that just came yes. out while we were on the road. Yes. <laughs> that that automatically became my shit. That very yeah. moment, the first time I heard it. Yeah, man. Cause Young Thug, first off, he, that was Young Thug. Drake, Drake Young Thug, yeah. Drake, Drake Young Thug and 2 Chains. But yeah, I mean, they all snap, cause you know, Uncle 2 Chains, he can do no wrong. <laughs> But no, I mean, I, and then Drake, <laughs> and then Drake too. Like, of course he snapped. But Young Thug, Shout y'all can't tell me. No, Young Thug was the highlight of it. Dog. Oh my god! 
Because it was like two chains and two chains of Drake. They was on that bitch. I'm on that bitch all oh, talking crazy. I'm like, I'm still on the bitch. I'm like, I feel you, man. I, feel you. I love, and I love that word flippage. I yeah. fucking love that shit. Like when stuff means two different words. Uh, double, uh, double, uh, double, uh, double Andre. Double Andre. Double Andre. Double Andre. Double Andre. Hello? Hello? Double Andre, for sure. Can you hear me? Hello? Are you there? Hello. Um, okay. So we're gonna talk about a little, you know, black woman power. Okay, yeah, shout out to the queens. Okay. You know. Because black queens out here. They kinda got my dog Tracy Ellis Ross a little fucked up. What a happened? lot of fucked talk up. Talk to us, Porsche. What happened? What happened? Um, well, first off, you know the um time's up movement is it's budding, it's happening right now. Mm -hmm. We, you know, we telling what we got to tell. We saying what we got to say. Say, we're not having the bullshit. Okay, I dig you that. You know, for sure. That's what, that's, so that's what the times up movement stands for. It's like the times up. With, we not, we're at like the the sexual harassment. Okay, stuff. yeah, we not like, holding it in no more. Yeah, okay. yeah, no, right. like, yeah, we not. It's it's time. We about to take back the pussy power. I for sure. It. I dig it. So, time, <laughs> and I hate the p word, but I had to use it. <laughs> you, you'd rather say vagina. Vagina power. I vagina will. Power. Now I got to say you a little pop to it, though. Vagina Shoot. power. Pussy sound way sweet. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That's how <laughs> sweet it is. That, pu that pussy. <laughs> vagina. <laughs> well, Tracy Ellis Ross um, and Blackish. We all, you know, know the Maybe, show. Yeah. Yes. Apparently. Turn your apparently, phone on silent. Okay. Relax. Damn, son. Uh, we on a podcast, uh, man. Oh Jeez. Can we shut up? As in we, I mean, this nigga. <laughs> Izzy Faye. Okay. That one ugly nigga that shut said Christmas. Shut the fuck. Shut up. Yeah, shut, say, yeah, shut, shut up. Right. Shut up right now. Shut but up. black women. Tracy Ellis Ross. Yeah, they got her fucked up. Okay. She's tired of bullshit. Okay, yeah. She's, <laughs> she's tired of the bullshit. Keep talking. <laughs> she is tired of the bullshit because she is not getting paid the same as Anthony Anderson. Okay. So she is considering taking less roles and kind of taking a little step back. But is she like the main character? Is this she's, she's one of the main this, characters? Who, who is she on this? I don't watch it, but I know she's on there. Is is she? she's the wife to she's his Anthony? Wife, right? Yeah. So she's gonna take a fall back. She gotta be. How the fuck she gonna take less money? Tracy Ellis Ross. Yeah, for sure. That kind of remind me of that shit with uh, what's her name with uh Monique that's going on right now too. It reminds me of that yeah, shit. Yeah. Try to get her like what? I heard a little bit about that. Like, <laughs> pretty much like they they the they so always funny had over there. They always had to offer her like five hundred thousand for a stand up, mm. and she and they offer like these two uh white chicks. Like eleven million. Oh no, no, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. They, yeah. they fucking get Amy Schumer like eleven million. Yeah, it's a yeah, wrap yeah. so it's hard. Special. Like I can't even. Yeah, I think Monique at least deserve a good meal piece, two million. Like, come on, now this this fucking Monique. The, like, you feel me? Like they were trying but to. But you know they blacklisted Monique for what? I don't remember. Oh, why shit, what, they... what's the name? Oprah? That shit? I don't know. I cannot remember why. Monique well, I... slander on Oprah's name. I believe no, so. I don't, I want to. I don't want to say the wrong shit, but I yeah, think something happened with I her can, and Oprah. I can definitely look that up, but I do remember hearing that she got blacklisted. Have you all heard from Monique? That in could be why. Well, you know, uh, my man said something about Oprah Seal, and they the next day he got hit with some sexual uh, predator uh, shit. It's on he a sexual predator, all this shit. The, the day after he said something about Oprah. I can't talk about Oprah, dog. Oprah, man. Oprah, Oprah got the power. Oprah not playing with niggas, man. <laughs> this is. I'm trying to find it right now. We love you, Oprah. Yeah. Oh please, yeah. Please we give me some money. Invest in me, Oprah. You feel me? It was something about how she handled um, the. Oh, yeah. Precious. One that the Precious. Yeah. They, yeah. But I think for Precious, Monique only got like some bullshit for that too. And that shit won awards. And Oprah, I mean, Oprah, uh, Monique only got like some crumbs money wise. Mm. And I think, I think Monique was talking about that too. Oh, shoot. Am I right? She ended up winning the Best Supporting Actress Award for her role in, in the Lee Daniels film, uh -huh. Precious. But after spending the better part of a decade putting out multiple projects a year, she abruptly stopped acting a five-year hiatus. Okay. Um, this is not really telling me nothing, though. It's, it's something about the Oscars, though. But anyway, that ain't what we're talking about. 
But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Black <laughs> got Tracy talk. Ellis Ross yeah, fucked up. Yeah, she need all the coins. Pay, pay, pay the black man. Play the black. Pay the black woman, please, man. All the coins. Pay them, the man. <sighs> and because niggas don't under, niggas don't know niggas do fuck with Anthony Anderson, but a lot of people are watching that show because of Tracy Ellis. Yeah, her sexy ass, huh? bro. Okay. Right. How old is she? I don't care. She is still amazing. Right. Amazing. Amazing. That little cock eye and shit. Wow. Like, yeah. Do you guys need some water? Give me on Instagram. I got it. I'll be like, that. Oh, yeah. I see you doing your thing. Is there any water in the house? Damn, why you jealous? I'm not. No, I'm but just... it's wine. <laughs> that's okay. I don't think that's quenching the thirst. <laughs> hey, man. It was a little debate on Twitter about motherfucking niggas that drink wine and shit. Yeah, niggas gay. Let me get the fuck Come out Come on, of bro. Listen, <laughs> you, <laughs> you dumb yeah, niggas. See, I <laughs> wish the actual fuck you would sit here and lie right now. I would call you the fuck out right what? now. I wish you would lie. This nigga's lying. But what? He ain't say nothing yet. You're lying. He, what am I lying about? Because was you all debate yeah, on Twitter? You wouldn't even fucking drink a fucking mimosa out of a mimosa. We're talking class. about wine. So I what? told y'all. I told y'all I would drink Spirits. it. I told y'all I would drink it. Give me a different cup. Oh, I a drink, fucking I drink hella glass. Cu- like, uh-huh. like what the fuck? I, 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 you, flaming. You I don't give a fuck. I don't <laughs> drink, drink, drink it out of wine glass. You, you wouldn't drink that shit. You got a wine, wine glass? Why not, bro? It wasn't. It wasn't a wine. It was. Listen, it was, it was, I wish it was, you would have <laughs> saw the cup. The cup was very fucking girly. And I'm like, bro. You talking about the the long fucking flutes? It was some real decorative. Mom at the suit at the store. Okay, like, well, he might cute. be different. He's not cute. Point. I'm about to get these bitches. He might have a point on this shit. I don't I'm know. like, bro. You talking that's about that's the only cups that we got? No, it was mugs. It but was you other want shit. to fucking <laughs> give me a mug? My shit ain't a mug. I don't give a fuck. As long as I get oh, drunk, I don't care. Gosh, that is not. You can't go to no like upstanding establishment. We wasn't at no upstanding establishment. We were at your house. What the fuck? Dog, please be advised. Me and Izzy about to scrap outside. Oh, shit. It's a wrap. <laughs> like, what the fuck does that even mean? It's, it's interchangeable glass. You ate your Tide Pods today? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's so <laughs> sick. White people got to chill with that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Yes, white people really do. I swear to Wait. God. It'd be some shit I'd be seeing. How like, did that even, like, I ain't no black person do that I shit. I don't know. I don't know I don't how white know. people think. Like, I don't know. Pies. What dumb and nigga then, was like, this shit squishy. I'm about today, to bite it. This today, Apparently, I, I seen, I seen oh, this motherfucker on uh, this white chick sniffing gain. The, 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 the laundry church sniffing that shit. I'm like, bro, white people, they mm-hmm. y'all so bored, my nigga. Like, what is y'all doing? Why y'all doing Natural this dumb selection. shit? Man, that shit, you hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> they be wilding. They be doing some ill shit. I'm like, okay. Man. Apparently, there's been 39 cases this year already. Of the pod shit? Of the... Yeah, did you see that picture? There's a the picture on Twitter. Now, they sell the pod like they sell like video games in that protective case. So, niggas can't bust it open and steal them. Wow. Like, it's it never pods. been that deep ever Wait, in what life. The, what is it doing? I don't even. I don't want to know, they my nigga. I don't it know. It doesn't matter. Like they, they the same ones that be sniffing up this sm- hair can spray man, and listen, shit. I don't like no parts of that lifestyle. Hairspray out of hairspray. Yeah, white people y'all gotta chill, man. Some yeah. of y'all be cool though, but most part of y'all niggas be tripping. Apparently, last year there were fifty three cases. And you just started. So this isn't. So well, niggas top. They been out. doing this shit. I didn't know. It hasn't even been 20 days. And yeah, it, niggas, it's, it's no, 39 cases. This is the 20th day, and it's 39 cases. 30, it's this year's 39 cases. Last year was 53. This is only the 20th of so January. So this is only the first. So niggas, it's going to be like hundreds and thousands it's probably. Positive. That's crazy. Like worse than the crack epidemic. Oh, oh, shoot. And last year, they, they received 15,570 reports of children five or younger being exposed to the package, too. What the hell be going on? Some bullshit. What the shit? I don't want to know, man. That's that's some shit I don't want to even delve into. Like, oh my gosh, please. Hey, if you're listening, please stop eating Tide Pods. You know, next fucking, by the end of the year, niggas can be rapping about that shit. Like, pop the top. Uh, like, uh, my, like, bro, what? Like, this shit getting crazy. Pop Nigga popping Tide Pods. The, the game will change for real, for real. Yeah. They mm-hmm. niggas just getting high off whatever. Anything. Oh, look, a stick on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, what the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. I don't know. Um, don't do Tide Pods, y'all, please. Yeah. You, that's you, you burping up a Tide Pod right now? No, nah, don't say it ain't so. I'm burping up the wine. It's <laughs> <laughs> a nice episode is sponsored by wine, you feel me? Wine. Hey, man. It's not wild. even Moscato this time, it's Sangria. We getting. Where's the music at? 
That's I mean that's what you just gonna have to like you just gonna <laughs> I was trying just, to be like This thing is retarded music? Yeah. Okay we go back <laughs> <laughs> Wow This thing is, You can't No, no. more wine for you <laughs> You're cut off listen, Go I'm home you're saying, drunk I was just saying listen Go home Roger. I wanted I want to play the music I want to play music You know why Because this This episode It was, oh cur- it was curated It was curated God. by Young Is yes. Fake You know what I'm saying I had to drop shut the smooth checks on y'all. Shut so up. we gonna get into some smooth stylings by young DJ Izzle. Okay. Pay attention to me now, please. Arm ass. Somebody's on my penis. <laughs> Do it like this. 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 Yeah. Do it like this. Yeah. Do it like this. Anything you need, you know I got it, nigga. Tell me what you looking for, you looking for nigga. But we the hottest niggas in the sauna with a fever. Best believe we still cooking up. Believe we still cooking. It's just a couple ugly niggas counting shit, and we can have it making hits up in the studio. Making hits till your girl move it like this. Till the world do it like this. 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 Nigga, do it like this. Do it like this. Do it like this. Do it like this. Like this. Yeah. Say, do it like this. Don't think too much. Do it like this. Don't drink. What up, though, everybody? It's your girl. Say it ain't Porsche again. And we're back. It's that one podcast. Yeah. All right. You you okay? No, I was just eating. <laughs> trying to watch this shit now. <laughs> Good job. Somebody learning some home training. See, I'm doing it now. Never mind. Are you talking with your mouth up? The food all out and shit. Oh my god. Okay, so Clay. Yeah, that's me. What's up? <clears throat> so what you been up to? Everything, man. I'm trying to do everything. I'm trying to save the world. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to feed the world. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to train the world. I'm doing everything, man. Um, right now I'm doing this uh, brown paper bag initiative. Um, the first, the first run I'm going to do is going to be on the 28th, which is my birthday. Gonna be uh, passing out food to the homeless around the city. Uh, I want to do it every 28th. 28th. Of the month. Month. Yeah. Oh, I want to do it every month on the 28th. But um, I just starting it. I want to redo this shit like every month. Like I did it last year a few times here and there passing out food. But I feel like this is the time now. I need to really like you know pass my food out to the homeless, try to help the people, things like that. So that's what I'm doing with that. Um, you know, I'm the owner of Club with Fitness. You know what I'm saying? I'm a personal trainer. Uh, you know, and everybody's the best trainer in the world. Getting everybody <laughs> together, um, so I'm doing that. I'm also I'm a professional boxer, uh, undefeated right now. You know I'm about to get back in the ring this year. You know keep knocking niggas out. You know what I'm saying. So I just watched that. this. I just watched this video today. Actually, you feel this you see beating this you one see nigga. How you know? Yeah, <laughs> really? man. Yeah, Where so is that? it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube for sure. Oh, you did your I clicked research. it. I clicked it. What I, do? I think I don't know if I was on Instagram or Twitter. It was a link. It was probably it was a link. Probably I think it was on Instagram. I clicked um, the YouTube link. And he was fighting the nigga. Yeah, <laughs> beating that so nigga. So yeah, man, I'm a professional you boxer, undefeated, undefeated. Yeah. professional boxer, personal trainer, philanthropist. Man, I want to do so much shit. You're gonna see my name everywhere in a couple years. Maybe this year, you never know. But yeah, man. So hey, that's what I'm about. <laughs> wow, that was a, a mouthful. Yeah. yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> Damn. Two for two. You did, in fact, two for two. Two me again. Two for two. Wow. Two weeks in a row. We oh, yeah. And, and if anybody <laughs> want to uh, make donations or anything, you know what I'm saying, you could hit my um, email, clipwithfitness at gmail.com, and, you know, we can talk about it there, or, you know, hit my number, 313-932-7440, and that's that. You are brave. You just gave your number off. Hey, man, I need to, you know, hey, I'm all good. You can be getting some white man. His <laughs> 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 penis. <laughs> Pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't think of. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. You get white so dick pics. Yeah, I, I want to get my shit on. Help me fix the bitch. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I got your number off of one side of radio. Right, right, right. <laughs> right, right. You need some Nigerian prince. Man. Shit. God, bro. Oh, my. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I, you need to give me some of that. I if he, you. If I, he, I, I, you, you can have. I won't want you to think. Give me some princess, hey, baby. Holla at me. I get a prince to you. You know what I'm 
say. Oh, shit. <laughs> I appreciate you quick. Oh. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, so when did you start boxing? Like, when did you know, like, this is what I want to do? Um, technically, I got is a late. Is this going to be a hood rat story? First no, no, off, no, 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 no. Okay. I got, right. um, compared <laughs> to, like, most boxers, I got a, you would say I got a late start. Um, I didn't start amateur boxing until I was, like, 17, 18. And I got done with high school and shit. So I'm, about, I'm, I'm 20, 24, I'm 25 in like eight days. Um, also, I'm throwing a party next Saturday. I'm going to pull up on me. But uh, anyway, so, <laughs> um, I started boxing as an amateur when I was 17. Something um, like. Something like, you know. I'm 2018. Talking. The party, 22237. Two, 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 Pinkle F, one second. 22237 two, two, is on Finkle, man. Something like, you got a Turk contest, $200. You got food and drinks there. It's gonna be ten dollars getting that bitch. Pull up, fuck with me, man. I'm turning twenty five. Now hey, I needed it through the alley oop. I needed it. The fuck? The I don't saying, like this. You know, I say I boxed when I was a uh, amateur for about maybe four to five years. Um, you know, I fought in Ohio State Fair. I won that. I won the Golden Gloves. Uh, like one time. So I got a pretty decent amateur career. Nothing crazy. I went pro 2016, uh, you know, undefeated, dropping niggas left, right, left, and right. Baby. So wait, pause. What what made you? What like led you to that? Were you like beating people's asses? No, like, no. I actually was always chill, and like I was always chill. When you know? did you find out? Like, I was damn, always I could up to beat a motherfucker's ass. I, honestly, I don't know. I just always had it in me. I guess. <laughs> like I want to scrap it. Like I want a nigga always fighting. I was I was just chilling, making jokes, laughing with everybody. That's why people don't be beat. They don't really believe I'm a boxer. Like, nigga, you're so silly. But, like, in that ring, a whole different nigga. You know, that shit is yeah. cut. But, uh, yeah, I just always loved boxing when I was little. Me and my dad used to watch, you know, Tyson and shit, the classic fight and shit like that. I just always loved that shit. So, and I always wanted to do it, but I just bullshit and bullshit until I graduated. And then, you know, I got in there. I went amateur, had a good amateur run. Then I turned pro. 2016, man, I was dropping niggas left and right. Uh, 2017 was a horrible year, a shitty year. Had to get some surgery done, so I took a break from that. But then that was kind of cool because I got the time to get my business up and running this club fitness. So I got my training business going. But like, I'm trying to get back in the ring. I'm not trying to go into get back in the ring this year for sure. And then from here on out, it's going up here. You know, I'm trying to get the Mayweather checks. You feel me? So um, y'all definitely going to hear about me, see me all around in this couple months. So, you know, looking out, Clay Hogan, man. I'm coming back, man. Knocking niggas out. So 2017 is when Clay Hogan fitness started. Kinda sorta. Then when it became an official LLC, like official business, uh, I was training niggas off and on, just playing with it, you know, like at the track and field and things like that. But it really got serious when I was 17. Like I really like, okay, this is it. Like I can really do something, like help people, you know, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, that's when I started getting my ass beat. Yeah, that's just okay. twice a week. In the gym, yeah. I was in my no, 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 in the gym. No, I wasn't. No, hell no, he was not hitting me. He was not hitting me. Please, wait, wait a minute. That's, we had a call to no, <laughs> no, but that's how, like, that's how his training feels. Like, it really just feels like the next day, it feels yeah. like you just got ran over a bus. Yeah, my training is serious, man. I don't play around. <laughs> it ain't no lollipop, one and two no. and one and two side shit. Work, working hard, man. <laughs> and they be trying, and they be trying to play like, oh well. After a while, you should not be feeling it like that. I'm like, the fuck are you talking I mean, about? Like, for the most part, yeah. But I always up my shit. Like, I was about to say, you know, I, I keep, I keep, I keep upping it. This nigga made me push a tire down a you football that, field. You push that, that motherfucker though, right? You push that shit. You know what I'm saying? So. That's- that was all about man. I, I got like, PTSD from I like, <laughs> I like, I like to man. push people, man, so they limit. I really like to push people and show them that you, know, you can do whatever you want to do. It's all, it's all a mental thing, man. So he got my mom in the gym. Yeah, y'all. I got That's my mom the in the boxing, thing. man. She her is a Taurus. So funny. Her mom that is so shit is silly. not easy. Yeah. No, she, you, she's, she's hilarious. hilarious. She's yeah, hilarious. she's cool as hell. She's hilarious. She's cool as hell, man. So. Why does everybody say that? She's fucking great. Why does everyone say that? She be happy. Shout out, Linda. Uh, yeah. She cool to y'all. We love you, Linda. We love you. <laughs> she cool to y'all. Um. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Portia mama came and got me in Portia after a night of very vigorous drinking. When? That one night we was at Justin shit. Oh she my birthday! Was your car? What the fuck was your car? I don't know. My birthday was crazy. I don't remember that shit. 
<laughs> there we go. Shout out to Tati. Your hair in the is building. so cute. Yeah, her hair cute as hell. Oh, shit. Okay, ma. Shit. Well, I could just stop saying that this show is sponsored by wine because this show by also is about to be sponsored by marijuana. Yeah, okay. All right. Of course you don't smoke. <laughs> Great plug. Unless you're watching the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, you, you're fired. Who let this nigga back in? Anyway, we on episode four. Did you love me. That's why I'm here. Oh. Blah. I was supposed to just be I a only guest. love my, <laughs> my bed and my mama. Ah. So, I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> if you're sorry, I get it. It's very understandable. This nigga Drake made it okay. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga Drake probably got that. Hey, I don't know who. I don't know if niggas watch the most expensive as shit with yeah, two chains. Yeah, but it was one episode where it was a bed that cost money. I really hope I'm not exaggerating when I say that. I probably am. Yeah. To my knowledge, they said that. To my knowledge. Shout out to Drake. 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 Shout out to Portia always come up with a new type of ass. First <laughs> <laughs> it was head ass. This nigga hit me with the neck ass. Yeah, right? I remember neck ass. He just hit me. I'm a neck ass nigga. What name is I was confused. I'm like, nigga, do some more push ups. Fuck you, me. I'm a neck ass nigga. I was mad. I'm like, what the fuck? Portia, that was hell. Portia be steaming niggas. Damn, what the fuck was I talking about? The bed. The bed. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, most expensive shit. Most expensive. Most expensive. Most expensive, <laughs> most expensive shit. It was a bed. I think it cost twenty thousand dollars, but it was like a, a company that's been around for like hundreds of years. They use like pure. They use they the, the material that they use is like. Oh my gosh! I should have did more research. Oh my god! No, listen. Two chains. Two chains had laid in the bed. He was like, okay, I can see. How y'all can feel like this shit could cost this much, but in real life it's not. But we gonna get to some more. Some, some motherfucking <laughs> music. music. And we all over the place today. But hey, she- music playlist by Izzy Faye. We about to get back into it. Let's go. Just like some apples. Look, I'ma grab a paddle. I need you to have a crown. We can travel through the castle. We gonna tackle every battle. When the battle starts, that's just a hassle. I'm glad I came across you like a graduation. Take you to the castle, and we can jump off in the sun. But it's happy when we're high, baby. I can't say that. And me and you can have some fun. I had you feeling alive, baby. Or we can pull a glass of wine, roll a doobie up, and we can get high, baby. I know you know I'm in the union, and the baby chilling. We just feeling the vibe. Look, hey, hey, hey. I turn off the television, you put down your phone. See, we just vibing, and we turn the conversations on. My mama told me not to bring her home a dummy. It's funny, I found a girl who loved me, and I bet a lot of money that she gets like to heaven. She listened to the reverend, and the weather always sunny. Back is that one podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Izzy Faye. <laughs> Say it ain't Porsche. Clay Hogan. All right. You know, hey, so listen, you know how the last little hey, bit of the show, hey. yarn on it. This is the last bit of of the show. It's always story time, and usually Portia tells a story, but this time I got this a story. Time I went to, I went to t- t- this time I have a story, I, I and this story is about one of my drug escapades as a <laughs> freshman at Kentucky State University. Blah. So listen, okay, so here we go. Start of the story. I was in the marching band. And when you're in the marching band, before you like cross, you're like a crab, you know? So I was with my other CBs and CSs, crab brothers, crab sisters. We went to this haunted house. It was around Halloween. Went to the haunted house. We was drinking some light shit, you know what I'm saying? Also, we about to get drunk going this haunted house. Some fun. We young. Wait, are you fucking. telling? You telling. Telling what? Okay. On okay. people? Go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, we go through the haunted house band, real simple shit. Niggas, when we leaving the haunted house, walking back to campus, somebody get a text like, hey, yo, it's a band party. Y'all pull up. So niggas like, fuck it, we at the band party. We go to the band party. Niggas in that bitch drinking Nouveau. And it's this big ass tub. In the big ass tub, it's moonshine. 
my young 17 year old what? ass moonshine. listen my young 17 year old ass did not know what the fuck moonshine was i got a cup i got a cup not i'm like oh this shit tastes like juice give me some more three <laughs> cups three cups later i'm in that bitch drunk as fuck you feel me we chilling niggas like party over we about to walk back to campus walking back to campus you know hit my little path hit up little shardy i'm fucking with like hey i'm finna come to your room go in her room and get in her bed I thought that that was the end of the night. I thought me getting in shorty bed was the end of the night. But apparently... Oh, you was being a five. No, not, not even being a five. Yeah, I, was, I, was fuck, I was fucking with one little shorty. I was fucking with one little shorty at the time. Oh, okay. So, bam. I, I fell Wait, asleep. Wait, did y'all hear that? Hmm. Y'all hear that? I peeped that shit. I peeped I ain't saying that. I peeped it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, continuing. I fell, I, I, I fell asleep in Shorty bed, but I woke up in my dorm. Mm. Right? That YouTube, mean, YouTube, you saw that. <laughs> so, so, motherfucking, I get up in my bed like, what the fuck going on? So I go downstairs because Shorty lived downstairs in, like, in the dorm. I fucking stayed there. So I went to her room, knocked on her door. Oh, she yikes, opened the door. That's how you get pregnant. She op- okay. No, kid, you don't remember that shit. You don't know what you done did. You did some super ill Hopefully, shit. Hopefully, a little ill. Gladly, that's not what ocean. happened. Gladly, ocean? that's not what happened. No, Is okay. ocean already on the earth? You dropping subliminals. Uh. But look, I go downstairs, knock on her door. She come answer the door like, oh my God, this nigga. I'm like, what you mean, this nigga? We, we you did some good. stupid shit. I fell asleep in your bed. What you talking about, this nigga? She like, you don't know what happened? I'm like, nope. So she sit me down and tell me everything that happened. So apparently... I went, to, I, fe- I went to bed, closed my eyes, thought I was going to sleep, woke up in the middle of the night, had to pee. I didn't go to the bathroom. Don't you peed on her? No, okay. Not that bad. Uh, Not, that bad. Kelly. Not that bad. Not that bad. Not that bad. I didn't go to the bathroom, though, but in our dorms, we had these little wardrobes. It was like a wardrobe on the left side, wardrobe on the right side. And it was like a little bit of space between the door and the wardrobe, you know what I'm saying, on each side. So I, I went up, went in between the door and the wardrobe, started pissing. Shotty, Shotty woke up. Shotty woke up like, what are you doing? I'm like, shit, I ain't doing nothing wrong. Why you tripping on me? Why you tripping on me? (laughs) Open up the door. Still peeing. Walk up the hall. Just peeing? Peeing. Peeing, bro. Peeing, bro. Couple girls, couple girls saw me walking up the hall with my dick out peeing and shit, right? I make it to the uh, the main (laughs) lobby and shit. Security guys like, what's going on? They told me I was talking some gibberish, not even like, not even, not even, you know what I'm saying? Not making no sense. So I was talking uh. shit. I ended up sitting on the ground and like passing out. The niggas carry me up the stairs to my dorm, and while they were carrying me, I pissed on myself. Damn, bro, bro. Bro. So <laughs> woke up in the morning pissed. in my you bed, know, not knowing hard. what the fuck was going on, pissing my pants. Like, damn, I thought I had a good night last night. Maybe I got some pussy, forgot about it, type of shit. <laughs> but no, I fell asleep and peed. Damn, All son. over the place on some super drunk shit. And listen, you young college kids. Hey. I got a question after you finish. These <laughs> Okay. You young I college have several. <laughs> you young college kids. Several questions. Just because it's there doesn't mean you have to drink it. it you know what I'm saying? It man. does not mean you have to drink it. I got a sample story. Yeah. But mm. so did Shorty keep fuck with you after that? Or yeah. she, she, so you look at that. It yeah, don't you know matter. No, you can piss on yourself. She don't keep fucking with you, man. So listen, my fellas out there. You might have a drunk night, piss on yourself. You might throw up, you know what I'm saying? But as long as you got your game right, she don't keep fucking with you. So it fuck don't niggas matter. get money. My man just pee, he peed fuck everywhere. Niggas. She kept fuck fucking everywhere. So, hey, money. She was a little fuck bit upset, niggas. but she was just she like, damn. Know that. She was like, you was just drunk. When she realized that I was just drunk, and I told her I did not remember nothing that happened. Half to the best of us, dog. You know. Half to the best you feel of us. Gosh, I'm gonna throw up. No, you're not. College yes, is, I am. College is crazy. You went to college and your freshman year wasn't insane. You didn't do college right. He was, I, he, he's mine, actually right. He's right. Mine was rough. I had. To, I that's did have good. Some crazy, that's that's good. A rough. A I rough. Because rough can mean a variety of things. I did have some crazy college nights. I did. <laughs> 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 ah! <laughs> Okay, so yeah. <laughs> but pretty lit. much, if your okay. freshman year wasn't crazy, you had a f- shitty college life. Now, I will say, because my freshman year, I was actually a real drinker. Like, now I can't even drink no more. I think I drank myself out. <laughs> no, I'm saying that's freshman year is why I don't <laughs> drink like I used to. Because I got too drunk. Boy. E and J, Burnett, fucking Paul a whole fucking pint of hypnotic. By myself? No, I don't know why. That's what I'm talking about. Why hypnotic? 
Why? You missed it or straight him not? It was just straight. Yeah, I was literally just and some fucking uh, whipped cream pinnacle. Okay. That's how you about to throw up. Listen. College you, kids. What you think I did the whole next day? College thing? kids, more of the story is <laughs> know your limits. Try not to pass yes. them bitches because do it can that. go very it bad. Could go very yeah. Well. And you know, on that note, just that one podcast. That I'm one that podcast. one ugly nigga that stay crispy as he say. And it's your girl Say It Ain't Porsche and It's your boy Clay Hover. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we signing out. You Yo. know what I'm saying? What was this? This week four? Week four. Week, week four. four. We going week strong. Four. We gonna I keep tell going. You that we won't stop. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do for week five, but it's gonna be something crazy because it's the fifth episode. So just stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, we'll be back next week. That's one shot radio, that one podcast. Shout out to Love Ayana. Hey, hey, hey. Shout out to Lo- yeah, yeah, we see you, girl. Shout out yeah, to you. Right, <laughs> that Leo ass couldn't wait to jump in that damn camera. <laughs> Hello, man. Hello, Hello, you on the camera like this and shit. Mom, oh, my <laughs> gosh. Shout out to One Shot Radio. Hey. Yeah. We're going to get into this last twerk, song, twerk, and y'all going to see twerk, us next twerk week. That up. And twerk, yeah, we it's out not of that, this. It's not twerk that ass, though. It's not twerk that ass. It's smoke a blunt. You just got off of work. That shit was stressing. Okay, bye.